to show you a simple quote to cash process in Dynamics 365 for financials. This is a pretty straightforward process. We'll start with the sales quote. We'll turn that into an order and then ship an invoice that and then process a cash receipts against that invoice. So let's get started. Here I'm looking at my Dynamics 365 for financials homepage. I'm going to start a sales quote by clicking on this. And I'm going to create a quote for an existing client of mine. And I'm going to add some items to the quote. I'll add this desk here. And the desk is already priced out based on my pricing in my system. And I can accept that price or write over a new price. But right now, I'm going to keep this price and the quote is basically done. So what I want to do then is send that out to my client so they have a chance to review it and let me know if they want to turn it into an order. So I'll click on send by email. I'll send that off to email. Let's take a look at that email. Here's the email right here. It includes an attachment with a quote. We'll open up the quote. And this was the quote that was sent to my client. Now back in Dynamics 365 for financials, I click on this little space over on the left hand side. It allowed me to go to my home page again. I can see this quote in here. I'll click on the quotes. These are all the open quotes I have in my system. Here's the one I just created. Let's open that up. Now the client has gotten back to me and he wishes to go ahead with that purchase. So I'm going to turn it into an order. Click on make order right here. It'll take all the quote information and turn that into an order. And now my operations people can see that order and they can ship it when it falls into their ship schedule. Now my operations team has notified me that they've shipped that order. So let's take a look at that order. We'll turn it into an invoice and post that. Here's the order right here. So let's go ahead and we'll just post and we'll send a copy to my customer. And I can ship it first and then invoice it later, or I could just ship an invoice at this time, which I'm going to do. So that will show the item leaving my inventory and also create an invoice in my accounts receivable. And about a week later, I received the payment from my client. I'd now like to apply that payment to the invoice and clear that amount from my accounts receivable. So let's go to the finance area here. And we'll create a cash receipts journal. I'll select this journal type here, cash receipts. And then I'll enter information about this payment I just received. The document type will be a payment. And the account type is going to be a customer. I'll look up the customer. There's a customer right here. I'll select that. Then I'll enter the amount. I'm going to enter it as a negative amount because it's going to reduce receivables. Okay, I've entered the amount there. It's going to go to cash, which is this account. So what I want to do is then apply this to open invoices. I'll hit apply entries. And this will show me the open entries for this particular client. I'm going to hit set applies to ID. And that'll create an ID for this application of the cash. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm just going to hit post and print. This will post the payment and reduce the receivables amount. Let's take a look at that entry. Here's the entry right here. It shows a debit to cash and a credit to that account receivable. And it gives me some information over here as a reference to this amount. Let's go back to the home page here by clicking on the home. And let's take a look at that amount in the checking account. We'll click on this account here. Let's hit navigate. We'll go to the ledger entries. Here you can see all the transactions that were posted to this account. And here we have the transaction that we just posted to cash. You can see it applied to that client. And that's the entire process from a quote to an order to a shipment and invoice, and then accepting that payment and applying it to the invoice.